Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Valley of the Mist Block of the Month. I'm Adrian Ritter. And I'm Shelly McNeely. And we're here with the June 2021 Block of the Month. Um, this month, our block is an improv variation on the Hourglass Block. And we are making four small uh, six and a half inch right. Hourglass Blocks that will go together to make our 12 and a half inch final block. Right. So just to kind of explain the look of the block, these on this version, these blue pieces are like the side handles of the hourglass. The white is kind of the background. And then um, this is, this my focus fabric here is representing the sand trickling down to the sand on the bottom. And then this is air or whatever, you know, however you want to loosely <laughs> interpret that. It's an hourglass. Yeah. <laughs> so um, Shelly is going to talk to us about the fabrics. Okay, so for this year, as we're in June, hopefully you know, we're you're using your own fabrics, but we're still doing it similar to what we've been doing in the past couple of years, I guess. There's a focus fabric. A, which is, this is my focus, a coordinating fabric that coordinates with the focus fabric, and then two neutrals, and they probably should be a light and a dark. Mine is a gray and a white. Okay. Okay, so we do, I, I, we're going to, when she's talking about the sizing of the pieces, I'm going to tell you that we've numbered the pieces of the block to kind of help keep it straight. So these side handle pieces we're calling piece one and this um the two pieces that make the sand and the background are pieces i guess you'd say this is two that's three and then this background piece is four okay okay so what do we need each other okay so so <clears throat> color number one we need eight strips that are one and a half inches by eight inches or you can just have a, a long strip because you can um, you'll be able to strip piece these. Right. So, and then colors two and three, you're gonna need two of each five inch squares. It's a five okay. inch square. And then color number four, you're gonna need four four inch squares. Okay. okay. So now, obviously, um, I don't think we mentioned it today, but go to the Valley of the Mist Quilt Guild website download the instructions for reference. Okay, so now that we have our sizes of our pieces, the four inch squares that are, we're gonna talk first, we're gonna talk about making these side handle pieces. Okay, so you're gonna use your eight inch strips and your four inch squares. And the four inch squares, the first thing you're gonna do, well, you can do it in two order, in two, orders, but um, you need to make a diagonal cut and you can free cut this or use a ruler. Um, if it's easier for you, we, we do need you to make a pressing line down the other diagonal, the one you don't cut. So if you want to, you can, you can do that first mm -hmm. and then cut them either way. You can press them afterwards. So, so let me set this down. So you've got this piece that you have the cut, the press mark on. Now, I, I did say you can use strips. It, I'll be honest, if you use strips, it's a little bit harder. So you might wanna take your strips and cut them into eight inch pieces. But if you like to use strips, then you do have to make press marks on your strips. And your first press mark would be at four inches, and then you'd make eight inch press marks after that to, to mark it. So why you need this is because these handle pieces, as you can see, when they fold out, they, uh, this piece, this bottom piece has to be longer than your triangle. Mm -hmm. So when you go to, to sew this piece on here, you're going to line up that press mark we just made with first with the four inch press mark and then the next one with the eight inch press mark. So there is a, there is a space on either side that you have to allow for. Um, you can measure it. Um, I mean, I, I didn't take that measurement, but you could see what that is and, and do it without making the extra press marks. Or you can just cut them into the eight inch pieces because it, it's really, the eight inches is really what you need for when you fold it out. Okay, so we are gonna sew all of these together, make these four side pieces of the block 
and uh, we'll be right back. Okay, so you now should have eight of these side pieces. And um, Shelly mentioned, I forgot to say how to press them. This one, you can just press to the dark, press to the easier, whichever way you want. Um, so you have, Shelly's gonna show in just a second how we trim these. Um, so you should have pieces that look roughly like this. And then we need to trim them down to make these side pieces. And you're just gonna take a, a corner of any ruler that you have that's, right. to, that's over, you know, like five the, inches, five that and That'd be half. super big, yeah. yeah. And you're gonna trim off these little corners there. So she has one that's already trimmed right there to show it. And uh, so we will use those later. In the, later. Just set, trim those, set them aside. Okay. okay, so now the next step, I forgot something, but okay, that's okay. So actually have, that's the wrong size piece, Shelly, I think. It is, did I cut them wrong? I think so. Oh, wow. Okay, so, so we have our um, squares that are five inches, and these ones you're gonna need to cut on the diagonal also. Okay, and I would suggest that when you do that, just so you don't goof up, which I've done before, stack them all the same direction, all facing up or all facing down. And it's best to have them in pairs of one of each color that you have for this section. And so you're gonna get that triangle like that. And so um, so I thought she only had it, so, yeah. so after you cut it, you're gonna end up with a triangle like this. And we're, we're now we're trying to make this sand and air portion of the block. So to do that, you're going to have these try these after you've cut them in half, you're going to have a, a piece like this stacked with two pieces and you need to make kind of a wonky cut di roughly diagonal to the hypotenuse of this piece. Uh, kind of showing sand dropping down and so you're going to end up so you're going to make a cut like this and what you have so if we say the green is my sand the green oops, falling down green goes at the bottom and the air goes at the top and then let's see if i can get them in the middle right then we have air above the sand at the bottom, <laughs> which this should, because we had them facing the same direction, should make a triangle. And then we have, oops, I didn't have enough room. Then this will go down and that will make the two points that connect the sand dripping down. So now we need to sew together these two pieces. Now, if, if it's hard for you to figure out how to match those up because they are at a diagonal, the easiest way to do it would be on these pieces also, after you've cut the first triangle before you cut make the second cut, is to also fold these um, in, in half again. Now, you could actually do that at the beginning, uh, you know, whenever you want. It's okay to make this into a, a small, uh, make these pressing marks right. and then you're just going to match those centers and sew them together matching the centers and When we come back, we'll talk about trimming those and our final assembly. Okay, all right All right, so a Couple of housekeeping notes <laughs> Hopefully in this video, I've already made a note ahead. I think at the very beginning we might have said a wrong size for colors two and three which become the um, sand and the air that should be a six inch square uh, two, two of each color right. okay so sorry about that and hopefully i've made that correction already in the video so next step so we have just sewn together our um air and sand pieces and you're going to trim them in the same way, but Shelly has hers up here untrimmed. untrimmed. Okay, so so they then they would you would stick the the block corner on there, which of course we don't have a ruler right here to show you, <laughs> and you're going to trim off those edges. So then, after we do that, you have for for each of the 
four patch blocks. You have two handle pieces and they go on the sides. And then however you have thought in your mind, now keep in mind, it's called an hourglass block, but it doesn't have to look like an hourglass. It just has to look pleasing to you. So, so um, whatever piece you would consider your sand goes at the very bottom, like that. And so then the matching piece, oops, they all fall down. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna tip that back a little. Um, so then we have sand at the bottom, and then sand trickling through the hourglass and air and air. Okay. So when we go to the next step, not forgetting that you have to trim those four pieces, we want to do where you're going to take a handle and one of the sand background pieces, and you're going to sew those together on this seam right here. Okay, and, and the and when you after you match them up, we want you to sew them from the center out. So you're gonna sew along here, okay? And then you're gonna take these two and you're gonna match them up in a similar way and sew there. And so you're gonna end up with two halves of the block. And I think we'll come Should we come back well, up to that or should we just sew them together? Yeah, then, and, then, and then after you'd have that, and I, I wish I had one sewn together. So after you sew that together, you're gonna have this, and you're gonna have that one, and you're gonna sew the center. And, and those, if you press these two the same way, like say I press towards my handle piece, I do it on both halves, and then when I lay them over top of each other to sew them together, then the seams will lock, and you're gonna make that final this seam right here, okay? So, when we come back, what, we'll have four of those? Yeah, we'll have four of those, because okay. Shelly wants to go over possible layouts of that. Now, I, I, Shelly and I were talking, you know, you've cut these sand air pieces in pairs, and I, I do want to mention, it doesn't matter, at after you've cut them, you need a sand air, sand air. Or? No, 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 no. Okay. You have to, what do you mean? They have to be in that order. That's true. I guess you're right. They yeah. do. Sand air, sand air going up. Yep. But it doesn't have to be the partner piece to the one that you right. had with it. That's you know, true. Because it, it is just a rough guess. So, yep. oops, I've got it backwards. So I have sand air, sand air. But, and these two were from the same pair, but it, you could mix up the pairs. Just, you just want to keep them in that order. Mm -hmm. okay? okay? So, um, so I wouldn't obsess about making sure that those match up. And these side pieces all look the same. Okay. So, okay. So we will be back with our four, uh, four patch blocks. Four and look at that. Four glasses. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay. So we are back with our sewn hourglasses. And um, before we proceed, I do want to caution you that um, they're not greatly oversized. So when I want you to figure out your layout of your blocks, and then you're just going to trim the inner two sides of each block, and then match those up, sew the two, press so that the seams will lock in the center, and then sew the final seam, and then do your final trim. Now Shelly has hers um, all untrimmed. untrimmed, but she has her four. So you can see there's there's so so this layout here was a traditional hourglass. Everything's in the hourglass formation, and so you have the double handle in the center, um, like that. But you can play with how you lay the them out in the final I'll one. Just have them up here now, and right. I might. And do some right. You want to do something? So thing. I did want to show you. So my block, um, I did where I where we called it where we swirled the hourglasses. So as you can see, this one's in traditional, and then this one turns, this one turns, this one turns again, and it makes a completely different look 
because the these centers are different colors mm -hmm. so um, basically play with that do the look that you like do one of each do several of each yeah why not yeah. <laughs> and we will see you back here next month